Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulullah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme fa'ni bima allemteni ve allemni bima yemfa'ni ve zidni ilmen inneke l'alimul hakim. Allahümme akhirdna min zulumatil vahim ve akrimna binuril fahim ve afta aleyna bima'ifetil ilm ve sehhel ahlakana bil hilm. Amin ya Rabbil alemin ve ecma'in. اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My topic today is continuation of the chest imaging made easy course and I will discuss in this lecture about the checklist of chest interpretation There are many checklists and no one is no one is can be adopted adopt what you like but be systematic and not to forget any part of the chest interpretation here general approach we have should look for the patient name if it is written and examination date and time if it is written technique technician notation it is expiratory subine ba etc and check for alignment if it is there is rotation low doses sky forces and also check for the penetration of the film if it is overventilated or underexposed. Check for the film from different angles and distances, and this is called a broad film, and establish strong even illumination. Turn off the surrounding light, and also you can dim the warm light. Soft systematic review, soft tissue, you should look for the soft tissue for subcutaneous air, swelling or masses. We should look for the bones, clavicles, shoulder girdle, it ribs and the spine. If there is any trauma, if there is any masses or lesions, we should look for also for cardiovascular structure and we should look for the mediastinum for high love abnormalities evaluate the aorta trachea or for also for any high love masses or discrepancy in density and look for the uh, for the heart for cardiomegaly or any mass lesion look for the diaphragm is hemidiaphragm is lower on the left side may be variable in older patient right hemidiaphragm sharply outlined left hemidiaphragm sharply out, outlined lateral to the cardiac apex evaluate the infradiaphragmatic areas for free air Look for pleural spaces, evaluate for pneumothorax, effusion, or hemothorax. Look lung parenchyma, look for masses, infiltration, consolidation, nodules, and check the region if there is any lateral or lateral view may be advantageous. Look for lines, endotracheal tubes should be above the carina and usually overlies five to six vertebrae. Trace intravenous line along the entire course. Trace the nasogastric tube along, tubes along the entire course. Reading the chest x-ray systematically reduce the chance of misdiagnosis. 
there is no one recommended analysis methodology to follow. Some maybe choose read the chest X-ray in anatomic order, and some other may choose in as a mononymic. However, everyone should begin analysis with the checking checking the following details as we said at the beginning. Patient name, this is repetition, and this repetition, it is good for memorization. As we said in Arabic, tikrar bi'allim al-shuttar. Patient full name and date of birth, date of time of the x-ray, there could be a few images taken in the same day. Image annotation, right or left, Image a projection BA or subline or lateral patient position. Check whether the patient is upright, semi erect, or subline position and the chest x ray taken. Look for the image quality, look for the rotation, look for inspiration. It is good inspiration or not, or poor inspiration and look for the ventilation. We discussed this image quality in the second lecture. Please look for that. Is there any previous films for comparison purposes for an object such as lines, the tube, space maker, drain, etc. for bodies? Can be also non-medical such as bullets, glass etc look for the big picture you may want to start looking at the chest x-ray from distance and then move closer this will allow you to look at the big picture and see major abnormality if any some systematic assessment of the chest interpretation we have the mnemonics A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. A for the airway and look for the trachea, if it is central or not central. Look for the bones, assess the bone for any lesion, assess the cardiac silhouette, assess the diaphragm, and assess the edge of the heart, and also assess the lungs and the great fissures and the gastric bubble and hilum. Another checklist look for it is uh, look for the heart silhouette sign mediastinum diaphragm uh, check abscesses lungs alveolar button dots interstitial button lines skeleton and check the ribs and check vertebral bodies. So the examine interpretation of chest X-ray, examination of chest X-ray is a process which requires systematic approach. It would be wrong to base a diagnosis on the most obvious feature of the chest X-ray. One need to ensure that the chest X-ray is technically good one before then going to interpret, interpretation and interpretation of any abnormalities. Another mnemonic A, B, C, D, the A, B, C, D for the A for the airway, B for the bone, C for cardiac, D for the diaphragm, E and F equal lungs, G for gastric bubble, H for the hilum and mediastinum, I also have at the T which stands for technical. We have two we have 2A and 2B and 2C and 2D and 2S. 
2A for airway and aorta, 2B for breathing and bones, circulation and cardiac, diaphragm and deformity, soft tissue and shoulder. And these are the what we mentioned before, 2A, 2B, etc. 2A for the airway and aorta, breathing and bones, circulation and cardiac, diaphragm, deformity, soft tissue and shoulder. Look for any abnormalities there, any masses, any fusion, and everything you should look for. Analyze each item as we mentioned here. Another checklist, look for first for situs, lines, tubes, bones, clavicles, shoulders, pneumothorax, pneumomediastinum, surgical emphysema, pneumoperitoneum, trachea, baratracheal stripe, hyla, mediastinum, heart, Look for the lungs, upper zone, mid zone, lower zone. Look for hidden areas and look for the pleura and the spine for dislocation, bowel spinal, soft tissue. Look for the diaphragm and look for the hiatus hernia. Look for the ribs, anterior, posterior ribs, and uh, for fracture masses, etc. And you should not to miss the hidden area of the lungs and the hidden area as we see here, the lung abysses and look for behind the heart and look for the below the diaphragm and cardiophrenic angle here, right and left and costophrenic angles here, right and left. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in the next lecture. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu alayk.